Criminal prosecutions were previously discharged by the Department of Public Prosecutions, which was then under the Attorney General, who was also the Director of Public Prosecutions, until 2010 when the Constitution established the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution as an independent office. The mandate of the ODPP is to prosecute criminal cases and get investigated by investigation agencies in all courts except the court-martial, while protecting the interest of justice, upholding the rule of law, preventing abuse of the court process, and protecting the rights of all parties involved. The ODPP was operationalized on 1st July 2011 and has since taken over 100% of prosecution services and charging decisions from the police. This has led to piling of cases, which has in turn created a backlog of cases which is both time and resource consuming. The corruption and economic crime cases have got huge documentation. And if you are to prepare and have a good case in court, it takes quite a bit of time to prepare. And I would say one of our main challenges is that we are not so many, especially the council who maybe have had training in that area. The DPP prosecutes about 250,000 matters annually with a conviction rate of about 92% as of 2017. With the increase of the parties to the criminal justice system and the increase of offences and emerging of new offences, we also have to innovate how to deal with them. Not all of them can go through the court. You also realise that even offences have been created within a family which were not there before. So you ask yourself whether is the court and, and, and prosecution the best way of dealing with them. We therefore have alternatives. One of the alternatives to full trial prosecution is plea bargaining. In plea bargaining, you are negotiating with the prosecutor as an accused person to find an alternative or a, a, a shorter way of resolving cases. It is not an alternative because the person is pleading guilty, but it's an alternative to trial. It also will declog the cases. Section 137A of the Criminal Procedure Code defines a plea agreement as an agreement entered by the defense and prosecution in a criminal trial. This is actually the process where the accused and the prosecution work out a mutually satisfactory disposition of a case subject to court's approval. It involves the defendant pleading guilty to a lesser offense or to one of the counts of a multi-count indictment in return for a lighter sentence than that possible of the grave charge. Plea bargaining may be entered into between the prosecutor and an accused person where an accused person has been charged in court and at any time before the court passes judgment. People think that this is a mechanism for cutting deals with, between accused person and prosecutor. But in reality, plea bargaining in other jurisdictions, for example in the US and the UK, resolves over 90% of the cases. 90%. As a prosecutor, you have to ensure that justice is met and justice can only be met by applying the rule of the law. If one agrees to plea bargaining, he forfeits some of his constitutional rights, especially the right to a full trial. The effect of the plea agreement is either to reduce the charge to a lesser included offense or to withdraw a charge or to stay other charges or a promise not to proceed with other possible charges. This concession may include, for example, that where you are going to charge him with three, four counts, you may enter into a negotiation where you reduce them from four to say two counts, he pleaded these two counts and is convicted on them. This is where the misunderstanding is. In plea bargain, there is a conviction. The Constitution provides that the information obtained from an accused person during the course of plea negotiations shall not be used against him or her during the prosecution of the case if the plea negotiations are ultimately unsuccessful. But where the failure of plea negotiations is on account of an act or omission by the accused person, the information obtained during plea negotiations may be used during the prosecution of the accused person. If you were to go the full course, the case may take two, three, four years. But with the plea bargain, you can resolve the case in a month or two, thereby getting a conviction. And in some instances, it may include compensation that you compensate the person you wronged. 
in exchange for a lenient sentence.